Well, this was the last place he was known to be seen. Not quite seeing anything too obvious. Nah, his mate went out with Deacon. I guess she figures a vampire will help start things out maybe a little bit better. Not 100% sure on that one. Well, I have a, let's call it a knack for being able to see things that are hidden, but there's nothing here. I mean, this just looks like a smash and grab. Sure, Jesus, if I didn't know any better, I'd think that somebody just came in here looking for money. Hey, it's all right, it's all right. We'll figure it all out. But to be honest, I'm not sure how much evidence could be found here. Well, if it were me, and I was searching, I think... I'd start tracing the roads. I know Deacon has this idea of hitting establishments. I don't know. I don't get that feeling. Because this doesn't feel like some sort of organized event. Does that make any sort of sense? Aye. It's almost like this was a moment of pure opportunity. Almost like somebody stumbled across Caleb's place and the door was open. Caleb would never be that stupid, would he? Aye, he's had a hell of a couple of weeks, but... Still, leaving the door open that way... Inviting anybody in? I can't imagine. Aye, perhaps you're right, perhaps you're right. We'll have to figure something out. I can't just sit idly by and wait for Dakin. Tell me something. Do you see anything outside? Maybe tire tracks or prints or anything? Come on, yeah, let's head outside. Maybe there's something in the grass, I don't know. Because there's nothing here. But... Maybe, if we're lucky. Tell me something. Did I teach you detection while we were fooling about with magic? Hold on one second. Damn, there's nothing. No magical residue, no... Spell tracing. Whoever did this, they weren't using any sort of cantrip to do it. Nothing to hide themselves, nothing to track Caleb. Huh. Oh, you're right. Um, hmm. What if... It's a bit complicated, but... I might have something else. Haha. That's an old tracker. Doolahan special. Unfortunately, not everyone is able to do it the way I can. But it works in a pinch. And would you look at that, a faint glow. Well, 
lycanthropy, the biological disease that causes werewolfism, leaves some residue, some auras. If you know how to track the right aura, you can find it. Sure enough, there's something over there across the street. Let's go. Well, my money is someone waiting in the bushes. Funny thing is, this is a pretty strong detection. Meaning whoever was here was here for a while. Were they watching him? Or were they just here and decided to pop down? I, what I mean is... Were they staking out Caleb's place, hoping he would come home? Or did they happen across the place, see that he was here, and make a phone call? Aye, it's a mystery to say the least. Definitely worth some more investigating. But, it's a start. Tell me something. If you were trying to hide a person up here in Sheer Peak, you just kidnapped him, you don't know where to go, where would you take him? I'm ficking because I'm not from Sheer Peak. I don't know the area as well as I'd like. Anything coming to mind, anything you might know? Heck, all right, all right, all right. Um, hmm. All right. Hear me out now. Is there any sort of industrial area near about Sheer Peak? Maybe something with factories or warehouses, even a more industrial set of apartments, something along those lines. Because if I was going to take him anywhere, that's where I'd take him. Oh, you know something? Shite, we better get a move on then. I can detect when we're closer. How far away is it? Sure, that's not but a ten minute drive. Come on, get in the car. Aye, Crom attracts a little bit of too much attention right now. We're trying to stay as inconspicuous as possible. With that in mind, cars are the best option. Don't worry, Crom's not far off. If we need him, he'll be there. Aye, aye. Giant black death horse tends to draw some eyeballs. Shitty old sedan, less so. Yes, I can drive a car. I'm not a complete imbecile. I've never ridden a motorcycle in my entire life. However, I was around for the invention of the automobile. I can drive one. Just don't tend to like to, that's all. Well, I, of course, I walk everywhere. It's good for the, uh, body, good for the humours. You don't. Oh, hey, fair, lass, that's fair. Just, you know, something to do. But anyway, come on, we're off. Oh, hey, the sard's in the back. Didn't feel right not having it. Right now, Frosthaven feels like a keg. A powder keg about to explode. Oh, yeah, I'd rather be ready. Have my sword. Crom not too far off. We can get done that which we need to get done. Also, 
Ah, shite, I don't even want to say it. Ah, it's just that... If Caleb is hurt and we need to get him to a hospital, can't exactly strap him across the back of Crom now, can I? Need a way for him to be able to transport it. Ay, 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 it's all right. I'll be... All right, it will be all right. I'm just worried about him and his mate and the rest of the pack. Ah, Caleb will never let on, but he's more important to everyone than he thinks, than they think. Bit of the glue of the werewolves of Sheer Peak. Truth be told, I still can't understand why they named the pack the Frosthaven pack. Because every single one of them's from the Sheer Peak region. I'd have called it the Sheer Peak pack. But hey, I'm not a werewolf. It's not my decision. I wish I had a werewolf's nose right now. Shite. We need to make a detour. We're going to have to get on the horn maybe. I'm calling Chester. Chester is a good lad. At the end of the day, he's got a hell of a nose on him. If he can sense anything, that'll be the way to do it. I know, I know, Caleb's instructions were clear. Don't bring Chester into anything dangerous. He's not sure he can handle himself in a fight. I respect all of that. Chester's not exactly what I'd call a... a rough and rowdy young man, but... He's got the nose we need. And we need it. Now. So we're going to get Chester. I... I mean, know it's dangerous, but... I don't have many other ideas. Listen, lass, if you got something, tell me now. That can't possibly work. Because you can't use magic that way. We can't enhance our own smells. No, sadly, Crom's not the uh, sniffing type. Horses aren't exactly known for their excellent noses. Hilarious because, you know, they got giant noses. Lass, I understand entirely why you don't want to do this, but... I don't think we have any other option. We'll keep him safe, I promise. I don't need a horde of ravenous internet people coming to tear me apart because I accidentally killed their favourite streamer. Oh, hi. Lad's got quite a bit of a following. I don't need to be the internet's enemy number one. Hi. We'll get Chester and it'll all be all right. His nose, my natural intuition and, you know, joint feckin' sard. Your magical prowess. It'll all work out well, I promise. You're right. Something about this just smells funny. And not in a werewolf kind of way, but... It's almost like this is completely unrelated to anything else. Well, assume for a minute that we know that, you know, maybe Tobin does know about Deacon and Caleb and I getting together. And maybe he even thinks that there's a bit of a friendship here. He can't possibly think that we'd all risk our lives just to go rescue Caleb.
Because tactically it doesn't make any sense. He has to know that now we know that Deacon is his target. He can't think that Caleb would be the key to that. There has to be other people. Ah, it just doesn't feel right. You don't capture a supernatural like that to get at another supernatural. It's going to be something else. You mark my words. Ah, I don't think Damien's working with him. I really think Damien is solo on this. Question is, why didn't you just feckin' kill Caleb? Shite's what I would have done. Kill him, leave his body there, make it look like a home invasion. Lass, I'm not a saint, and I'm very old. I've been around the block. People do some psychotic shite when they need to. I'm not saying it should have been done. I'm saying it's what I would have done in Damien's shoes. I, 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 I'm not trying to be morbid or vulgar. I'm just I'm trying to tell you that's what I would have done. Aye, yeah, not worth thinking about. Let's get to Chester and we'll get down to business. Sun's already starting to set. It's not good. Werewolves, not too far off a full moon. In the dark. Damien's going to be strong. Caleb too, but this is shaping up to be a right mess. Aye. Let's just go get Chester and we'll go from there. It's the best thing we can do. <sighs> you just keep the spells ready, lass. I have a feeling we're going to need them. <laughs> 